Yeah, PG&E could cut power to thousands of customers due to the fire threat. In the Bay Area, those possibly affected are in Sonoma, Napa, Solano, Contra Costa, Alameda, and Santa Clara counties. And ABC 7 News reporter Unser Hassan is live in Clayton in Contra Costa County with the latest on these potential outages, Unser. Dan and Kristen, good afternoon. Just spoke with PG&E. They said there are no outages to report here in the East Bay. Of course, as Cindy mentioned, the big concern is going to be the wind. PG&E expects these winds to be the strongest we've seen in the past three years. Here in Clayton, you can see these power lines run right through neighborhoods up into the dry hills with all the dry vegetation, and that's what PG&E is keeping an eye on. Due to elevated wildfire risk conditions, we are preparing for a public safety power shutoff event across portions of the Bay Area. Jake Zugelman is vice president of PG&E's Bay Area region. He says weather patterns over the past couple of days have held steady, but the risk of heavy sustained winds is still cause for concern. Higher winds than we've seen over the last three years, combined with low residual humidity, as well as dry flashy fuels. PG&E crews are monitoring the threat of wildfires and began notifying customers in the targeted areas where power may be cut. Right now we are seeing possible imp impact to around 8,000 customers across portions of the bay. So that is mostly in the, the lesser populated areas across the bay. In Contra Costa County, PG&E forecasts up to 1,000 customers could be impacted. One of the areas is rural parts of Clayton where power lines run through dry areas of vegetation. I'm always concerned about that. Debbie Revere, who lives in Clayton, got an alert from PG&E warning of possible cuts. She says her HOA maintains a landscape regularly, but living in areas with power lines and dry hills is always a concern. So I know how quick, even though they're cutting branches, trimming trees, I still know that there is a threat there, and I think we should all be aware of that. Ziegelman says there have been major upgrades to PG&E's infrastructure, such as installing stronger poles and installing devices that allow it to zone in on specific areas on the grid. He says that's why fewer customers face power cuts. Had this event occurred in 2019 when we didn't have those sectionalizing devices in, in, installed, when we didn't have our weather, weather station monitoring network or our high definition camera network as prevalent as it is today, uh, we, would have, we would be seeing a much larger event. PG&E says strong winds will likely go through Saturday, but if the power goes out, that could last until Sunday. Reporting live on Sarhassan, ABC 7 News.